Question first? Not right now. Not right now? No. I'm... After this? Uh, no, we'll see. Taking that as a Uh, anyway, uh, could you just, I guess, like, introduce yourself and, like, who sure. you represent? Uh, I am Brother Micah Armstrong, open-air preacher, uh, from Florida. You traveled all the way here from Florida? Yeah. Or just uh, originally from Florida? I, I travel all over the country. Campuses? Mainly. Yeah. And, um, I guess just give, a just a general, uh, why you're here, what you're doing. Well, well, good. Jesus said in Luke 5.32, he said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. One of the main things Jesus came to do was call sinners to repentance. Uh, Jesus told the church, which I claim to be a part of in Luke chapter 27, ver uh, Luke chapter 24, verse 47, he said that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. America's heard a lot about forgiveness, but they don't hear much about repentance. And so, but he said to preach not just forgiveness, but repentance. So I am out here uh, preaching repentance and remission of sins. Uh, uh, the, the main message in the New Testament, in the four Gospels in the book of Acts, preached was the message of repentance. Mark chapter 1 verse 1 says this. If I'm going too long, let me know. Okay. Mark chapter 1 verse 1, Jesus said that, the, the Bible says this, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophets, behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Verse 4, John did baptize in the wilderness and preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. So the Bible's clear. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ started with John the Baptist preaching repentance. Matthew chapter 3 verse 1 and 2 said, In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Somebody said, Well, that's John the Baptist. We're supposed to be like Jesus. Well, one chapter later, Matthew 4, 17 says, From that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Mark chapter 1 verse 14 and 15 says, Now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, the kingdom of God is at hand, repent and believe the gospel. So John the Baptist preached it, Jesus preached, Jesus said in Luke 13, 3 and 5, he says, He said, I tell you nay, but except you repent, you'll all likewise perish. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, who so believes him, should not perish. But, so, you know, people don't ever like to talk about the perishing. He says, except you repent, turn away, forsake your sin, uh, you'll likewise perish. Uh, Peter preached it, the first message preached on the day of Pentecost. Acts 2.38, Peter said, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Without repentance, there's no remission of sins. Acts 3.19, Peter said, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. No repentance, no conversion, no sins being blotted out. Paul preached in Acts 17.30 on Mars Hill. The times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent, because he's appointed a day in the which he'll judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he has ordained, wherever he's given assurance on all men that he's raised from the dead. Acts 20.21, 20, Paul testifying both to the Jews and also the Greeks, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. Acts 26, 20, Paul said that men should repent and turn to God and do works meet for repentance. In other words, show that you've repented of your sin by the fruit that you bear. And then Mark 6, 12 said about the disciples, they went out and preached that men should repent. So uh, I'm out here preaching repentance Turn from your sins, turn to Jesus Christ. Repentance from sin, faith in Jesus Christ. That Jesus can not only forgive you of your sin, but for him to forgive you of your sin, you must forsake your sin. To be saved from your sin, Jesus Christ will give you a new heart, a new life, where you no longer commit sin, you no longer be a slave to sin, bound to sin. Okay. Uh, thank you, and um, like early this morning I was walking by just going to class, I didn't have time to ask any questions, but that's when you were talking about the, uh, I guess like promiscuity among, 
females. Is that, is that, like, the, the damage in that, I, I didn't have time to hear you, but what was the... Well, I also address promiscuity among the males. Yeah, I, mean, I was going to ask you about that. Uh, even most students that are honest agree that, you know, the majority, most students, 51% or better, I mean, that's kind of a joke, joke, uh, it's kind of laughable, 51%, it's probably more like at least 80, 85 of the students on campus are involved in premarital sex, male and female. And a lot of those that are not are involved in pornography and masturbation and homosexuality. So uh, sexual sin is a big problem in America. It's a big problem on college campuses. And really every time the Bible addresses a list of sins, it always starts out with sexual sins. Uh, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 9, and 10, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, that's those having sex outside of America, uh, fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, okay, drunkards, among shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Uh, Galatians 5.19 says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these? Adulteries, fornications. Okay? And it says, They that do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Revelation, uh, well, Mark chapter 7, verse 21, Jesus said, For from within, out of the heart of man, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications. Okay? All sexual sin is a heart issue. All sin is a heart issue. Then he said, verse 23, all these evil things come from within and defile a man. So the Bible is real strong against sexual sin. Uh, and there's a real problem with sexual sin on this campus. That's not the only sin. Well, it's, it's probably more than 50 or 80%. Well, yeah, well, yeah I just... Is that just a, like a... Like a, well, it seems like the society, I guess, is changing. Is that what do you think that's due to? Well, it's it, it's it's kind of been like a snowball effect escalating over the years. Uh, really and truly, the probably the greatest root cause of it started uh, from the professing church letting down on preaching against sin naming sin and uh, making it clear to people that they must repent of their sin. If they don't repent of their sin, they won't be saved in their sin. If they're committing sin, they'll go to hell in their sin. Okay? And so, but now it's just, you know, it's just become, uh, it's just become popular, it's become politically correct, it's become socially acceptable. Just to live in all kinds of uh, immoralities, and sexual immorality, homosexuality. You know, uh, Mr. Chick, uh, uh, Chick Fil A. What's his name? Yeah. Uh, He's the seat. Kathy, the owner of Chick. -fil -A. You know, he didn't. He didn't make a big. He didn't go on a big tirade against uh, same-sex marriage. All they did was ask him his opinion. Yeah. And he was totally demonized. Well, I mean, that's kind of ridiculous too. Like Chick Fil A sandwiches are. It's just sandwiches, and it's delicious. And when you're buying a, a Chick-fil-A sandwich, you're not representing really anything. So the people that were like boycotting Chick-fil-A, I think that was the wrong way to to go about it. But yeah, well, it was just. And then, and then, and I'm totally against Miss America. But uh, several years ago, I don't remember who it was, but uh, they just asked her, you know, you know, are you for same-sex marriage or against it? She says, well, you know, look, just, you know, not to put anybody down, but my opinion is I'm against it. And uh, they demonized her, they called her, which, you know, I mean, I'm totally against it, but then they, you know, before she was some sex, sex symbol, now she's a whore. Uh, the current you know? Miss America? No, no, this was a few years ago. Oh, oh okay, it was it California? Okay. I, yeah. <laughs> Proposition 8, yeah. So this is the trend of society, you know, that, uh, you know, we, we're going to force you to agree with us, and if you don't, uh, if you don't, you know, you're a racist, you're a bigot. And I, I know that my, my viewers would be interested if you think it's a political thing, like the president, President Obama and his stances on it, although nothing is, is specifically changed from that, that high of a position in government, do you think that his leadership is, 
I guess, corruptive. Oh, he definitely promotes it. Yeah. Well, it, it helps. Yeah, it adds to it. Sure. Although, although I think a lot of the romance, even though people do not want to verbalize it because they don't want to be, you know, called a racist or whatever, uh, but I think a lot of the romance with Obama has worn off. I don't really think he has the influence that he, he does. did. Huh? He does have uh, low approval rate right yeah, now. Yeah, and, and I mean, and that wasn't so, you know, a few years ago. And, or, or, you know, maybe even probably the NSA was probably the... Yeah, that, that's, all, that's all a different conversation, but thank you for, I guess, explaining. If you, if you need to leave, that's... That's fine. Anything else to right say? Right now, but, uh, yeah. yeah. Be sure to be sure to turn from all your sin. Turn because all sin will get you sent to hell. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Love and obey Him and serve Him. And read your Bible. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. If you just give me like you know some kind of. I'm finished. Hi. I mean, keep filming. Yeah, that's fine. But can you give me like uh, where I could, whatever? What, what,